it's a horrible thing, but you certainly learn a lot from the process. River came up over the road for quite some time. We had eight inches on the main floor of our house. The north wall and the south wall were off and it looked like a dollhouse standing there. The water level on the main floor had reached about two and a half to three feet. Do we walk away from the house? Can we afford to even rebuild? View what's in front of you in the case of a marathon, not a sprint. The University of Minnesota Extension and North Dakota State University Extension Service have developed Recovery After Disaster, the Family Financial Toolkit to assist in financial recovery from disaster. The toolkit is free and available at this website. By being able to use some of the tools that are available in our Family Financial Toolkit, you're able to uh, look at goal setting and prioritizing and to really take a look at what needs to be done immediately and what maybe comes a little bit further down the line and be able to balance some of those needs. It's not one big step, we'd like it to be, but it's really a bunch of small steps going on. We saw a lot of people make some very, very difficult decisions in their own lives and for, for a good number of people that meant leaving. In a perfect world, we would be prepared for a disaster, but we know that this is not always the case. This video series has been developed to assist in the immediate need for financial recovery information following a disaster. The six videos in this series will identify important financial considerations for your disaster recovery. We're two years removed and there are a lot of people that have still had a difficult time making decisions on what to do. As you see a lot of empty houses still around here, there's a couple of houses that have never been touched since the flood. One of the things that we did as a family was to look at you know, what are our short-term needs and what are our long-term needs and I think that really helped us be able to tackle those short-term needs and kind of get some quick wins as it were, and so we weren't so overwhelmed at, at looking at the big picture. And look down the road. Will you be able to sustain those decisions in a year, in two years, three years? Because you really want to make the best decision for you and your family. It is important to recognize that your life will never be exactly the same as it was. Consider what you want your new reality to look like. Boy, when you face something like that and you come up on the other side, you, you know that you have the fortitude to, to be able to do that. And, and in life, you're going to have curves like that all the time. Stay positive and keep moving forward, even though that your life all around you has fallen apart. And for a lot of people, go find somebody to talk to. Find an outlet. Don't bottle it all up because uh, it can really put you in a bad place in your life. A community arises out of a disaster stronger, more deeply connected, and great believers in themselves that whatever we face, we can face it together.